Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you and I are going to do a capsule of your history, uh, which is long and glorious in that long. Okay. When you first started out, did you have any ideas that 25 or 30 years later you'd be still doing this? I hoped I would be. Did you really ever think along the way that it wouldn't happen? I think in the mid-60s, uh, I felt that there might be a chance that I would be doing something else other than this. I mean, that was the English invasion, all yes. that craziness. What did you do at that point in your life, career-wise? Well, I continued to write. I was writing uh, other songs for other people, Longest Day, Tonight Show Theme, She's a Lady. You wrote for everybody in one. Then you went to Las Vegas, and you're a giant star there. I mean, the man is leaving here immediately, flying back there, do two shows tonight. Never tire? How many? How long do you work a year? Do you work, work weekends about, or what? Uh, no, I do about 35 weeks a year. 35 weeks you're out running around the world? Yeah, then I'm home, I have a little record studio at the house, and I got a lot of the guys up for this album to uh, help record this album. Now, this is the stage I want to get to now. You made this, you made this at home, a little in the, base, <laughs> in the basement Partial. somewhere. Yes, a little, little basement studio. Who was involved? Uh, David Foster, um, Jay Graydon, uh, Michael McDonald, and Kenny Loggins, and some members of Toto, uh, Carla DeVita, and produced by uh, Denny Deonti at CBS. Why, why wouldn't you go on an ego trip and just do it all yourself? You can do that. You've done it before. It's never the same as when you have a lot of talented people helping you. Then you have a wide dimension of material and a different complexion of music. You are a very well-known, successful, wealthy man. Why do you still work so hard? Because I love to work. <laughs> that's a, it's good that's a fair enough answer.